Hello everyone, Helen Yu here at Shiner Electric Innovation Summit in Las Vegas. I'm here with Abby Gabriel, who is uh, Schneider Electric North America CMO. Hello Abby, so nice to see you here. Helen, it is great to have you here at the Innovation Summit in North America for Schneider Electric. Uh, we are at our Las Vegas event. We've had over 1,500 of our customers, partners, our suppliers, all coming here to talk about what's happening in the energy landscape. It's been great wow. to have you here for the last two days, kind of getting absorbed, and now we're at the end of it to wrap up the event. You know, I am so pumped up, right? You talk about energy, the why, everything, AI, energy, that the intersection of that, the convergence of everything, you bring them all together. I feel the power, so I can't wait to unpack this with you a little bit. That's great. That makes me feel like we've done our job. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you yes. know, very interesting. You market to the data centers, the utilities, the factories with completely different buyers. Yep. How do you make that work? Right, uh, it's a great question. And Schneider is a super large company that operates in many different markets and across many different portfolios. Mm -hmm. So if you think about the heart of any marketing plan and marketing strategy, is great customer segmentation. Absolutely. So we, from a marketing perspective, use customer segmentation at the heart of every single one of our strategies. Mm -hmm. A lot of our products may be in multiple applications. So you mentioned data centers, mm -hmm. uh, factories, buildings, homes, in the grid. Mm -hmm. But if we actually look at the customer problems that they have and who it is that we're selling to, we make sure that we start at what it is that our customers need. And then one thing that we also see is that in order to solve problems, the more that we work together as an mm -hmm. ecosystem actually changes the game of how everyone can improve collectively together. You know, that's what I love about Schneider Electric, right? You were being my customer 10 years ago, implementing Marketo, and I know the entire team, especially marketing team, has been very consultative, mm -hmm. right? Your customer focus, business problem uh, solving, uh, trying to focus on solving real business problems. That has been ingrained, ingrained into your culture. It shows in this entire event. And then also when I talk to your customers, analysts throughout the the event, uh, they all have something common to say about Shiner, right? the consistency of your brand. So thank you for making that happen. Thank you very that much. That brings me to the sustainability mm -hmm. right, question because that has been or used to be a checkbox. Now it helps companies close deals. So how has that changed for you in, in terms of how you position Schneider? Yeah, if you think about it, uh, sustainability has been a journey for us for more than 15 years, almost 20 years. We started off looking at ourselves, we are an energy company. Mm -hmm. And what did we need to do to help make three fundamental things of energy happen? People needed to be affordable, mm -hmm. therefore efficient. They needed to be reliable, and ultimately they needed to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. As a company, we knew we strategically needed to change how we do our business to answer on all three of those vectors mm -hmm. at all times, but also we have the opportunity to be a practitioner ourselves. So we look at our own sustainability goals of what it is that we want to achieve, and we want to be uh, best in class, always leading the way on, as a company for sustainability. Mm -hmm. But then we also have an arm because at the heart of sustainability is decarbonization, and decarbonization is often an energy such as mm -hmm. an energy challenge. So how do you take what we do in the energy space and actually act as a consultant and help our customers with their sustainability? So not only do we look at it as ourselves, but then we also look at it on behalf of our customers. Mm -hmm. We consult over 40% of the Fortune 500 on their sustainability ambitions, their goals, and ultimately helping them with the decarbonization journey. Yeah, you know, I saw quite a few of my clients here at Ivan today, yeah. and uh, they're excited about the, the announcement you made, right? The one digital platform and the foresight. I get to play around yes. with it at the Innovation Park. It's just fascinating to see how much innovation you continuously to have, right? Kudos. And then speaking of that, the B2B industrial can be really complex, right? Mm -hmm. It used to be more, it's all about relationship trade shows. How has digital, how much has digital really changed um, this landscape? The way that we, the mm -hmm. way that we look at the market, exactly. for sure. Well, first of all, the business will always be a relational, right? Yeah. And we know that at the heart of what we do. But digital plays for us into three different areas. Number one, 
augmenting and supporting our human to human relationships, right? So what do I mean by that? Every service that you can get from Schneider from a person, we also want to ensure that you can get that digitally. Mm -hmm. So do you have an order experience? Can you find what it is that you're looking for? Do you know what you need from a product perspective? All of those things, we have our customers in our, what we call our My Schneider portal, mm -hmm. which is the ability to go log into our inside portal. 125,000 customers each month come in to be able to get any service from Schneider digitally. That is solid and that's, that's right. That yeah. is all in support of our, our people and our sales force. Mm -hmm. And our digital strategy is to really enable our sales force to be successful. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, digital demand gen, right? If, if you're a marketing team, you're ultimately yeah. making sure that people can discover you and where they're searching. And that is ultimately on the internet. And we also know AI oh, yeah. plays a big piece yeah. of this as well. And I'll talk about that in the third. And our content strategies and how we go to market, digital plays a big, big play within our marketing portfolio. Mm -hmm. I would say digital is now 65, 70% of the marketing mix. The third piece of it is now with AI. So we are just going into this journey of how AI, both from uh, how people search and look for things, we now look at AI as one more persona, mm. right? Which yeah. is very different than a marketing strategy. It would be like you put something out on the internet, we wanna see if somebody can discover us. Now we say, how does AI as an influencer take our information and ultimately provide a recommendation to our customers? And that's a big part of our strategy well, moving AI forward. AI may become your customer one yes, of these days. of course. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, energy and technology, right? I see the convergence now, but both spaces are becoming crowded today. Yes. How do you stand out? And then what are the things that you, or, you know, I also heard about Schneider's new mission uh, during this week. And then how does that really affect you in terms of how you market in North America? Absolutely. Well, first of all, it's tremendously exciting to be in the energy space and in the technology space, exactly. right? Yeah. So there's so much going on in energy and there's so much going on in technology. One of the ways that we step, we stand out is because we believe we're at the intersection of the two of them. Mm -hmm. And we define energy tech as electrification, digitization, and automation. Those three things together are ultimately how you're going to take energy from a utility mm -hmm. into a technology to be able to service our customers. So then you ask me, how do we stand out? One is being at the intersection and being the facilitator of all of these companies coming together to solve that challenge that we have from an energy perspective. But at the same time, we know that our customers and our partners are ultimately the outcomes that they're looking to drive is the stories we're mm -hmm. looking to tell. Mm -hmm. So as you've seen at this conference, it's not you're not just sitting here looking at Schneider people on stage. You're looking at our partners telling their stories, our customers telling their stories. And we believe ultimately that is the foundation of making sure that all boats rise for our customers and Schneider stands out within a, a big crowded field, like you yeah. said, but as being part of that big crowded field that brings everyone together. You know, there are so many success stories, right? When it comes to your customers and partners, do you have a customer success story you can share with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So one of the things that we just announced today, um, we've been working with a building in Boston called Winthrop Center. Mm -hmm. Winthrop Center is the largest passive house office building in the entire world and Schneider Technology is built mm -hmm. within it. When we were looking for a new facility for us to move into that we wanted to demonstrate our own solutions, we looked at the Winthrop Center and that's actually going to become now our new North American headquarters. So Congrats. we will move in. That's where you're based. That's right, right exactly. Yeah. So I get to go yeah. into this amazing building which I'm so excited about, mm -hmm. right? But with that, we actually looked at our office building. Now our employees in a place that is, is has Schneider technology mm -hmm. built in. We are so proud of the building we're in. And now we're working with Millennium Partners and the Winthrop Center to be able to tell that story to the world and using this as a showcase of a building of the future of where we think is the model that many others can get to. Mm -hmm. And you can be sustainable and you can have a wonderful product, business, and be profitable, and it doesn't have to be something that's a compromise. I love that, right? Mm -hmm. You can have the best of the both world, basically. Yes, for sure. My last question, Abby, what are you most excited about when it comes to the intersection of energy and AI? Yeah, so or tech. Yeah, with tech. So certainly, uh, the stories and the the companies that we're working with are so inspiring, right? So now we're, we're playing in a field where everyone we speak to is sort of venturing into some of the same challenges. Mm -hmm. We heard from FedEx yesterday, the CEO of FedEx, Raj, mm -hmm. 
who said he went from a logistics company to now he believes that he has the data to be able to bring digital logistics. Twins, exactly, right? digital twins. Package, yeah. And we are venturing in that same space. Yeah. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about intelligence, yes. right? Yeah. And we are going to provide energy intelligence to be able to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited to share that our ideas with the world and mm -hmm. also work with partners to really build some new solutions. Well, thank you for making such a massive impact um, in every single industry, for every single individual in the world. And such a pleasure meeting with you. Same with and, you, Helen. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the time. I hope to talk to you again soon. Yes, yeah, same here. Thank thanks. you.